want to give you a, a really quick overview of the different kind of filters that you're going to see uh, in ponds. Now, when you're looking at filters or people talking about filters, it's such a broad area. There's different types of filtration. Now, in most pond kits, you're going to get something that's called a waterfall filter. It's basically the lip, you know, it's the box that has the lip on it that becomes the top of your waterfall. And they add some filtration pads or some biomedia or both into that. And that's, that's your pond filter. Now, that works great for, you know, the basics and it's a starter um, set and it comes with most pond kits. For most people, you know, that may be all they ever need. If they keep the pond a, a couple of feet deep and it's a pretty small area, you know, you've run in the skimmer that comes with it, uh, that may be all that you need. But some folks like to add on to those, or in, you know, if you're building your kit from scratch, you may be using a different kind of filter. For example, you might want to use a pressurized filter. Now, pressurized filters are normally buried away from the pond. You have a, a pump that's either running from your skimmer and that then pumps into the, the filter and from there it can then, since it's pressurized, it can then go on up and feed your waterfall. Uh, you can also use an in-ground pump that you know is going to be able to pump some solids so it doesn't clog and that would go out to your pressurized filter and then up to your waterfall back. The main advantage of those is they can be ran in line from your pump to your waterfall and they can be buried. They don't have to be higher than the falls. Now, gravity flow filters, um, as uh, you know, gravity implies, they what they do is basically they have to set higher. You know, they've got to set higher up at the top of their waterfall, or if you don't have a waterfall, they would set alongside, say, your bog or whatever your return stream back into your pond is. Those would fill, the water goes into them, they go up, and then, you know, they filter out gravity flow back into your pond. They can't go up. If you try to run them a long distance or up, um, you can get too much back pressure on them and they'll just overflow and that'll empty your pond. So gravity flow filters are great, but they're kind of hard to hide and if you have a waterfall that you're working with, they have to be up at the top of the waterfall. Now, in pond filters, those are normally used with fountain head nozzles. So typically you would have just a box your pump sets inside of it, it's covered with some media, uh, you know, filter media, bio balls, whatever, something to keep that pump from clogging. And then there'll be uh, some piping that comes up and a nozzle sets on top. Those are great for very small pond, you know, a four or five foot uh, area pond. Those will work fine. The, the problem with those that you run into is they tend to clog uh, fairly quickly and they're heavy. I mean, they're filled with water and you got to get them out. So, that can be tough, you know, if it's something where you don't want to be climbing into your pond to pull that filter out, that may not be the right filter for you. Now, other types of filters would be a UV clarifier, and that's typically used in conjunction with a filter. For example, you might run a UV clarifier, say if you're using a gravity filter, you'd have to use the UV before the gravity filter. Uh, typically, the uh, UV filters work great if you've got them behind your you know, pressurized filter. For example, you would have a pump that runs to a pressurized filter, and that gets out most of the big solids. So then you run through your, your UV filter so it can do its job as it's passing on up to the top of your waterfall. Now, sometimes you're gonna see something like, it's called a, um, a sock filter. It's just a pre-filter. If you have a pump, a typical pump where you stick it in your pond, and it's gonna clog especially those that just have that real fine area um, where it's going to quickly clog up. That's bad news because then the pumps get hot. If they don't have a cutoff, you know, they burn up. It's bad news. Using these sock filters can turn those into pretty decent filters for small ponds. So if you have a pretty small pond, say uh, a 4x5, a 5x6 pond, and you want to go for something that's the, you know, the least cost, you might use a, a pump that you set in your pond inside of a pre-filter, then run that up to a gravity filter that kind of becomes your bio filter in addition to, because you've already skimmed out most of the particulates, you know, but you can still use that gravity filter as your bio filter and get a pretty nice little ecosystem going at the least amount of cost. So those are your you know, basic overviews. You've got your waterfall filters that you know, basically that's the, the lip going right in into your waterfall. External filters can be buried and still work with a waterfall. 
gravity flow filters are the best bang for the buck, but you can't really hide them and they have to be up above you know, the highest level of water, even if that's at your waterfall. And UV uh, clarifiers work in conjunction with your filters. I don't think I'd want to just ever try to do a pond with just a UV filter unless it was a pretty darn small pond.